Hi, I'm Becky Bitter. I'm the senior lecturer of costume design here at TAPS, and I'm here to talk to you about stage blood. Um, so, as a costume designer, it is not typical that we love stage blood, but I do love stage blood. I think it's super fun to use. It's a great way to, to communicate really dramatic points of play. Um, it's fun to see the really cool contrast of blood on costumes, and I just I love the drama of it. I love what it, the theatricality that it brings to a fight. Um, but it's also complicated because, you know, it's sticky, it's wet, it's messy, it's red. And so how do you deal with that when you're talking about costumes? So washability, can you wash the costumes? Can you use them for the next day is a really important thing to think about. Um, also, like, where is the actor going to store the blood? Is it going to get pumped out? Like, will it gonna spray? Will it drip? Will they grab it from a pocket and spread it all over their costume? There's, there's a million different ways to do it. So these over here are some little blood packs that we've made. Um, so the first is a water pack, and this is what we use in practicing how to use the blood. Um, we always use water first because water is pretty easy to clean up, and it gives us a sensibility of where, like, where we're gonna stash it, and then how it's gonna spray when um, when we, we squeeze the pack and break it and it, you know, goes everywhere. So, in parentheses of blood, the, like, literally the smock that I'm currently wearing is the smocks that, that, um, the family wore at the end of the play when they were popping their blood packs. So we ended up putting the blood packs in these lovely pockets here, um, that were already pre-made in the costumes. So I just sl slid that right in there and it really doesn't make any sort of um, like you can't really see it, and also they were the, the smocks were a little distressed, so that if it accidentally popped, it wouldn't matter. Um, so when the actors were ready to, you know, get, you know, die at the end of the play, they would they would grab the, the, the pack and like palm the pack in their hand, so you, so that you can't really see it, and then they they would they would pop it, and I'm gonna pop this for you so you can see it. And you see how that sprayed really nicely. And so this one in particular shot right at that mirror, um, it doesn't always go where you expect it to. And that's one of the things that we had to think about in doing parentheses of blood is that the, the packs sometimes sprayed really far into the audience. So again, using this really washable blood was really important in case it got on audience clothing. This is a little more um, thicker blood, and then I, I thin this one out with water. This one won't spray as much because it's thicker, and this one will hopefully spray well. So I'm gonna pop them for you, and I'm gonna pop them right in front of my, my smock here so that you can see it. Let's see what, let's see what it does. See, see how it got all over my hands? It really didn't get it all over me at all, but it got all over the room. Okay, one more. Let's see what it does. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> there you are. There's some, there's some practical examples for you. Welcome to the world of stage blood. Hope you have fun.